Hello everyone, <coughs> welcome to Mifratech. So today in this section, I am going to discuss about agriculture yield and crop prediction project. So here in this project, mainly we are going to predict what is the uh, yield of the like maximum yield you can get about a crop based on different parameter and also we are going to uh, predict uh, based on different uh, when you enter some area and uh, yield you want to get which crop you can grow that crop prediction also we are going to do in this project so both yield and crop prediction uh, is going to happen in like prediction is going to happen in this particular project so here in, in order to do that different kind of machine learning techniques and algorithm we are going to use in this project so first in this section i'm going to show you how to run this project and what is the exact output you are going to get in this output like in this particular project so first we'll go to project folder so the name of the project folder is agriculture yield and crop prediction inside that what are all the different files present i'm going to explain you now so the first file is static so when you open this folder inside there is a background uh, an image is there so this is a particular image which will add as the front end web page uh, this, the, this is the background image which will add so those images should be kept inside this static folder next we have is template folder when you open this one this uh, in this one what is present means a different uh, web pages what we will write in the front end though all those uh, web pages html code present in this the template folder like uh, register page html code login page crop prediction page and yield prediction page html code. and the background image which we kept in the static folder that should also be present inside this uh, template folder <coughs> next what we have is agriculture crop prediction this is the python file where uh, agriculture crop prediction that is back end code training the algorithm checking accuracy all those code back end code for crop prediction is present in, inside this python file next we have agriculture yield prediction as the name itself suggests this contains the back end code where the uh, for the yield prediction is written inside this python file next apy this is the exact data set we are using in this project so next ddbb it is a normal sql file for whatever the uh, like registration and login happening in this project in order to do that one this is the sql file we have written so next is whichever the algorithm gives the more accuracy for crop prediction that we convert it into pickle model like a binary format so that we can directly load it in the front end so the name of the file is final pickle model underscore crop this is for crop prediction extension pkl next is uh, for yield prediction also whichever the algorithm gives the more accuracy we convert it into pickle model so that is a final pickle model for yield dot extension pkl next uh, this is the front end code so here front end work whatever the front end you are seeing here this is the uh, front end uh, code of the document here like uh, whatever the front end finally you will get the, all those things related to front end code the python code we have written inside this front end uh, python file so these are the different things we are going to provide inside this agriculture crop prediction yield and crop prediction project there is one more thing is missing in this one that is uh, inside a text document what and all the uh, different like uh, packages required both for uh, like uh, both for front end and back end all those packages with the version we should mention so all those things available inside the text document requirements so inside that one whatever the things is uh, present i'm going to explain the later section of the program so these are the different things we are going to provide inside this project folder so first how to run this project so in order to run this project how directly you can get run which folder like which file you have to run directly to get the output means first there are three software needed for this project one is uh, python version 3.6.8 that is uh, python ideally 3.6.8 is required and that should be installed properly in the path the system and in the same path where the python is installed in the command prompt all the packages required both for front end backend with the uh, versions needed should be installed in the command prompt after that we need exam control panel that is in order to add our database to the system so exam control panel is needed that is version 3.2.2 or 3.2.4 anything you can use next we needed is a uh, notepad so if you want to make any changes related to html code means notepad is needed so notepad exam control panel and python ideally 3.6.8 these are the three software needed for the project so now once all of them installed all the packages needed for both front and back end install now you can directly run in order to get the output so which file you have to run means before that will i will show you how to add the database so go to search bar type here exam control panel so it is already installed means it will show the here exam control panel so just double click on this one so exam control panel will open here now window so once a exam control panel window will open and uh, now we have to see here here this is the exam control panel version 3.2.2 so as i told you can use 3.2.2 or 3.2.4 so now i'm using 3.2.4 next uh, what you have to do is just click on start button which is there in the apache 
row here it will turn yellow after that when it turns green next click on start button of the mysql row so when both turns green color just click on the admin button which is in the mysql row so when you click on admin button that local host that is uh, open in the default browser of your system so it is now opening in the default browser of uh, my system so now local host will open now we have to add the database so first you have to create an empty database so how to create a database means just click on there is a new button you can see just click on that one will open this window here you create database so the name of the database which we given in the program is ddbb the same name you have to give and click on create so once you create a database has been added see here there is a ddbb database is there but it is empty now so we have to whatever the ddbb sql file is shown in the project folder that should be imported to this empty database so how to import means just click on import button here it will open one a window now observe here there is a button called choose file click on that one it will open file manager now what you have to do is you have to go to the project folder that is agriculture uh, crop and yield prediction open that one inside this one the file which you have to open is ddbb click on open so now it is selected come down there is a go button you can see just click on that one so when you click on that one you will get on message now see here what is message import has been successfully finished so now when you see the ddbb database it is not empty now there is a, a table is added user register when you click on that one whatever the default username and password you can we have written in the sql file all those things it is present in the user column and password column these username and password you can directly use in order to log in into the system if you are a new user entering some username and password means all those data will be updated in this username and password column only in the database so now what you have to do is just go to the project folder again so here which file you have to directly run means this front end file this is the code we have to run directly to get the output so there are two ways of opening this python file first way is just right click on this one edit with ideally edit with 3.6 so this front end code will open automatically see here in the python shell so this is the one way of opening this python file this is another way how to open this means just close this one come to search bar type here ideally so here it will show ideally python 3.6 just double click on this one a python shell will open automatically see here so now click on file click on open button so it will take you to again file manager now go to the project folder where the project uh, will provide agriculture yield and crop prediction here open this front end click on open now the program will open automatically front end code so now how to run this means just click on run run module fi now when you run this front end code you will get an http link automatically so an http link will be generated so once an http link is generated so next what you have to do is there's the http link you have to copy so that i will show you now once it is generated it will take some time to generate the http link this amount it Yeah, see here an http link is generated uh, now you have to copy starting from which after 5000 there is a slash so up to this much link you have to copy go to the default browser where my database just now added right local host is open there open a new tab just paste this link after pasting that link what you have to do is click on enter so it will directly open the register phase first first if you are a new user means you have to register so how to register means just enter some username and create a password after entering username and password just click on register button here so it will show successfully registered method when you come here when you refresh this page the whatever the username and password just now you entered will be updated in the database so now you can see when i refresh this one see whatever the username and password just now i entered right? that is updated here now in order to login just click on this login button it will take you to login page now you have to enter again the same username and password which you used for the registration 
after entering username and password click on login button so it will directly take you to prediction page so first page where you will go is crop yield prediction page so here uh, here exactly the prediction page where you can predict the yield so what and all the different input data you have to enter means first the state name you have to enter after that uh, the particular district in that state you have to enter so first uh, state name like i told after that district name you have to enter next uh, the season car folio there are different seasons in the data set that seasons you have to enter after that the crop which crop you want to grow that uh, crop you can write here the crop name after that we area you have to enter like how much the area quintal that uh, the numerical value you have to enter here so after entering a uh, area value also what you have to do is just enter some area we will enter uh, 670 that is in hectare we have to enter after that entering all the input data just click on predict button you will get the outputs here uh, based on whatever the input now you entered for that particular rice crop you will get a yield of 1772 quintal for that whatever the area for that crop you asked this is how the yield prediction will work so you will enter some other uh, data if you want means you can enter here or here we will enter some enter data now hmm. season summer will enter crop uh, will enter you can enter any crop there is no nothing uh, like you have to enter some particular crop only so area will enter again here 778 hectares click on predict so now you can see here you will get a 1518 quintal of output uh, like yield for the particular whatever the input data just now enter this is how the yield crop yield prediction will work so if you want to get some advice alternate crop advice you want to miss there is a button you can see advice alternate crop when you click on this one it will take you to crop prediction page so now in this page the crop uh, prediction will work so here you have to enter different input data first a state name you have to enter uh, then the particular district name after that a season name you have to enter next a area value that hectares in enter and which how much production you want after entering all the data when you click on predict based on enter and production in which in this particular area which which crop you can grow in order to get more yield it will show so you can grow other uh, miss like miscellaneous pulses crop to get more yield so it is the output you are seeing so now we'll enter some other uh, district name state values and season will enter whole here area will enter some other area and production will uh, enter this one so after that when i click on predict see you can grow sunflower crop to get more yield like this the it will show you the alternate crop you can uh, use in order to get the different output here in india whatever the state name or district name we have or uh, any uh, thing you can enter here click on predict so whichever the crop you can get grow in order to get more yield it is going to show you as the output so this is the may, uh, kind of output you will get in this crop uh, that agriculture yield and crop prediction project so here mainly we are going to prediction of yield also we are doing and uh, crop uh, advising the crop nothing but crop prediction also we are doing this project thank you for watching the video thank you